Oh, 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 I guess which controllers though. No! Damn, that was bad. What's up guys, and welcome back to the second level. We are in a very precarious position on Donkey Kong right now. We're Seizure just going to this level. Oh, that's horrible. Seizure warning. Um, with a weird parrot thing flying uh, above our shoulder. And currently Keegan is playing all of it, because frankly, I suck and I can't <laughs> be bothered to play anymore. Um, so yeah, how are you doing, Keegan? I'm doing pretty good, Tom. Good. Uh, one of the things we thought would be interesting is both of us kind of come from an interesting background. Uh, if you haven't noticed, Tom has an accent. Oh, it's debatable. I don't know if you've realized that. Um, but he has an accent, so he's not from here. So you want to tell the lovely people at home and or work and or wherever you're watching this how you got to the Mercas. The Mercas. The Mercas. So I um, was born in England in a place called Hereford. Uh, H-E-R-E-F-O-R-D. Where is that? Uh, it's kind of in the Midwest. It's right on the border to Wales. I actually grew up in a town called Lempster, which was like right on the outside, about 13 miles away. Uh, but Hereford is usually what I say, because even though no one knows where that is, they're probably more likely to know where that is than Lempster, which is just tiny. Uh, so I, uh, back in the day, back in the early, early days of the internet, like right at the dawn of the internet, I was um, in my computer or IT class, and we had ah. just had the internet kind of installed on all of our machines. And I'd never, you know, figured out how to use it properly. So I was just there, like, browsing around, just kind of trying to figure things out. Uh, at the time, one of my favorite bands was Nine Inch Nails. And, uh, and I still are one of my favorite bands. I love those guys. But I was looking for, like, fan sites for Nine Inch Nails. Because I honestly had no idea, um, what else to look for at the time. I was just like, what do I like? Nine Inch Nails. Let's see what's there. And <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Uh, and then I came across a sketch of the lead singer, Trent Reznor, um, that was drawn by, uh, my now wife. This is maybe 15 years ago, a uh, long, long time ago. And so I was too, oh, damn it. they can walk off ledges. They can, but I thought he was going to walk over me. Like <laughs> you were very before. young. Yeah. And, uh, so underneath this picture, there was an email address or a hyperlink to an email. And I pressed it, and I had no idea what it was going to do. It opened up my email, and I was like, oh, I've never sent an email before. This should be interesting. So I sent an email that just kind of said, hey, I like your picture. That was pretty much all I put in there. Maybe a few bits and pieces extra, but nothing that I remember. And um, and your your wife was like, "My wife, damn, thought, this guy's hot. No, she thought <laughs> I was a creep. Um, she was like, who is this guy do you blame telling her? me he likes my picture? Do you blame her? <laughs> he likes my picture. And um, yeah, oh, this guy is... I always die in this He's guy. He's just spewing bananas at you. Uh, he gives us something if I hit him enough times, but I never make it to the end because he, he, he gets faster every time. That's cool. Anyways. Anyways. Um, sending a picture. So wife, she thought I was a creep, and then she noticed that the end of my email address said uh, .co.uk, and that I was not, in fact, from America. So suddenly, less creepy. And, <laughs> and uh, you're English, so it's like... Yeah, and I'm English, accent. which is, you know, there's a certain you know, level us, of mystique, us Americans I guess. Love, love it. And so she sends a reply back. She's like, oh, hey, what's going on? And basically, we were like pen pals for years and years and years. And we went back and forth for a long time. And then I left college. And when I left college, I realized that I had never once written down her email address. Um, and I didn't have a way to contact her. I just kind of, like, I hadn't written it down. I'd just been pressing reply for years. You're and suddenly, a horrible friend. I, well, you know, <laughs> suddenly, I, you know, it dawned on me. And I was, remember, this is still the early days of the internet. So I, you know, I just wasn't that savvy with any of it. Wait, you couldn't go on Facebook and find her? There was no Facebook, Keegan. What about MySpace? <laughs> was MySpace? Spirit, barely MySpace. Like, a couple <laughs> years later, there was MySpace. Uh, speaking of MySpace, that was where she found me again a couple years later on MySpace. Oh my god. Uh, and she's like, oh hey, you the English guy that I was, you know, talking to a while back and... and you're like, yeah, I lost yeah. I lost your Sorry, email. Sorry, I was an idiot. I didn't write down your email address. And, um... She's like, okay, you're still cute. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we talked and we, we, we tried we, to make a visit. Or we arranged by the a way, visit. Skills not required. We're gonna get her side of the story at some point. Oh, sure. Or somewhere she, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna yeah. get her side. She, I'm sure, sees it completely. <laughs> but um, you know, we we arranged a visit in 2007. I came on a vacation for two weeks to America, first time in America, and we met. To and obviously, we St. kicked Louis? it off. I assume you. Uh, I was to Cahokia, Illinois, actually. Okay. And uh, you know, we we kicked it off, and we, everything went cool. And then uh, we got very sad that I had to go home. 
And then later that year, she came over to England for two weeks. Uh, same thing, just to kind of check it out. Um, she got very, if I remember correctly, she got very homesick very quickly because of the food. Because uh, English food is a little different, a little rough, yeah. And um, then later, uh, my mom paid for her to come back over because my mom liked her a lot. So my mom's like, hey, do you want to pay for her to come over? And I was like, sure. So she came over again. And then finally, I was like, you know, one of us is going to have to actually try and move because this is ridiculous. Like, having to keep going these two week holidays, it costs a ton of money. Yeah, flying uh, internationally is not cheap. It's not oh, wow. at all. Uh, oh, that's I hit, interesting. I hit a barrel. So, yeah, so basically, um, I went through a lot of effort to get a tourist visa, uh, as if I was just going to come and be a tourist in the country for six months. Of course, I had no intention of going, going back. home. <laughs> so when I came over, we, uh, you know, we got a place together. Uh, she'd already moved, and I just kind of moved in with her in Soulard. Oh my god! It just, like, stopped! It literally just froze when I hit him. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. God. I was uh, doing so well, too. And, um... Yeah, so we got a place together, and then after a little while, I got a work permit. I was allowed to work in the country, and then we got, like, a lawyer, and we got married after 90 days of me being here. And is there, is, like, that, what's the, is that the, like, requirement? What's yeah, you have to wait 90 days to get married. So we got married before we got engaged, um, which was kind weird. of weird. Yeah, it was <laughs> weird, definitely weird. We still got engaged after, like, I, I gave her, like, an engagement ring and yeah. some roses and stuff and um yeah so then we i got my green card my two-year conditional green card which means that i wasn't like allowed to leave the country for long periods of times and things like that after another two years i had to reapply uh, to get the conditions removed and we had to prove we'd been living together and things like that and then i finally got my real green card which is the one i'm on right now permanent resident of which the is the one US. you like which is the one i like i still can't own a gun or vote but i am here and really you can't vote Nope. That's interesting. I did not... Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, kn I knew, like... I know some of the laws, but I really didn't know you could vote. Yep. That's interesting. Mm. I'm learning so I'm learning stuff, guys. Yeah, it's... You know, I'm not hugely bothered by it. I'd like no, to, just, at some just, point, be able to vote. I just didn't know... It just... Those are the only two sort of big ones. I'm sure there's some little ones that I just don't remember. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it. I moved when I was 25, and I'm now 32. I've been here seven years. My accent is all over the place. I can turn it on when I want to, though. He, he saw me, what, what was it, two years ago? Yeah. When we first met, and he knew that was love at first sight as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Keegan is a co-worker of mine. Um... <laughs> And yeah, that's that's pretty much how we met, how I met my wife, how I'm in America. That's the story of me. Do you want to end the episode there and then the story of you next time? That's what I was thinking. I think it would be cool. We got the boss come out. Let's do it. The man. really naughty rampage. The what? The really you heard me really naughty rampage. Yeah, fair enough. So, but thanks again, guys. Hope Thank you, you learned something. I learned something from Tom. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, you guys listening to my story. But yeah, we'll tell I'll tell you the story of Keegan, which is not as ex as as exciting. But I've got a couple of things in the past. <laughs> okay. You'll never know what they are, though. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for listening, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the second, second level. level. And we're going to start with uh, fact 14. Oh, no, I lost. Oh, my God. Do you seem to shoot me backwards? <laughs> There's no way we're going to get through 21 facts. It's